There was nothing unusual about that day. I just walked out into the backyard and I stood next to the chain link fence because I had nothing else to do. And another child walked up, put his hands on the chain link fence, his fingers sticking through, and so I did too. I walked up to him and held onto that fence, and little did I know that <laughs> one day we, we would become best friends, and we would go away from our impoverished lives that we were living. And we would go to college together. <laughs> In a different city. <sighs> and it's, uh, boy, it's almost pointless to say it, but my grandparents, uh, great-grandparents, great-grandparents, two sets of them, actually, had moved to this, uh, you couldn't call it remote, but uh, it was definitely suburban. Fuck. It was definitely suburban. We were uh, a few miles out from city center. <sighs> but when they bought it, back in the whoo, late 40s, uh, there was no city center. <laughs> Might have been a couple of buildings in San Bernardino. San Bernardino. <sighs> So most of the surrounding area was, uh, oh, what would you call it? You can't call it country. I mean, it's just barren landscape. It's nothing attractive about it. You know, maybe in the winter when things are green, you know, whew. see some animals running across the land. But uh, so they bought these seven acres for nothing. Really, I think it was nothing. And then they, uh, my uh, great-grandfather Pete, he was uh, an engineer, and so he was in charge of, you know, making all this work. They built seven little houses. Well, five little houses and two not-so-little houses. Five one-bedrooms and two two-bedrooms uh, on this land and they uh, and I don't know when they decided to put up the chain link fence around it I think it came after uh, the government HUD program started uh, putting in housing tracks all around them for low-income people and uh, so it went from, um, you know, house in the country or, you know, family farm in the country, a family community in the country to, uh, whoo, what do we call it now? You know, you got a fence around it. You got a gate. You got a lock. Uh, and it wasn't so much racism. I mean, Turns out all the people, every one of them, all of them, that moved into those low-income houses that surrounded us were black. <laughs> but uh, I'll interject a quick story here. My uh, grandmother, she uh, she did call them niggers. And, uh, but the, the, the funny thing was, you know, say, come here, Leroy, we're gonna, we're gonna make some cookies for the niggers. And so in the kitchen, she and I would, uh, 
She'd let me uh, stir it up after she put the ingredients in, and then we'd bake it, and then we'd walk it over to one of the houses <sighs> not far away and say, Hey, neighbor, uh, you know, it's good to know you. <laughs> so she was uh, whew, intrinsically not a racist. And I grew up with her. And uh, I often wonder, I mean, she was dark-skinned, black hair, and I'm not sure about the history, you know, a few generations back, but uh, I've heard that she was Indian. So, a part Indian. And uh, it comes from some kind of weird encounter with a great-great-great-grandfather and... And some Native American. <laughs> but she was not racist in the slightest. But she did use that term that everybody's so afraid of. Uh, oh, let's go take some uh, cookies to the niggers. <laughs> so as a kid, I... Didn't really think much about it, you know. I mean, okay, <laughs> it's, 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 it's what they call them. It was like, said, oh, let's go take some uh, cookies to the uh, the Smiths or something like that. I uh, yeah, made a few mistakes over the years. <laughs> but uh, one thing I wasn't and never have been is racist. I grew up, other, other than our little compound, we call it the compound now, it's got a big old fence around it, seven acres of compound, and you get four crazy ants running around, and <laughs> an uncle, and it was fun, it was, it was fun. But, uh, so I, other than that, I grew up in an all-black neighborhood. Now, it got created around me within, oh, I don't know, time I was zero to uh, four. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it took the government four years and their programs to come in and build really shitty housing. I mean, it's stuff was just so low quality. I mean, uh, just across, well, across the street, next door, anyway, two-story place they built, uh, apartment building, government built. Uh, the stairway fell off. <laughs> the fucking stairway fell off. So uh, the people living there had replaced it with a ladder. <laughs> so, I mean, can you imagine that? And, uh, you know, government's not going to respond. They don't. You know, they, oh, we built the houses and you should take care of them and blah, blah, blah. And uh, that ladder was there for years, at least uh first few years of my life and I'd watch those poor people carrying their shopping bags up and down up 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 <laughs> the ladder <laughs> oh Jesus people think I'm uh, making that up when I tell them that story but it's uh it's true <laughs> so anyway these uh oh man these poor folks living around us, uh, they didn't get any respect at all. But uh, So I guess I started out the story that way to uh, tell you about a friend of mine. And I'll do that in the next session here. <laughs>